shift from the historic use of surface water over to the use of groundwater exclusively. So you have a challenge there. The other part about this area that's east of Fresno, between Fresno and the foothills, is the soils are tighter, they have a higher clay content, they don't percolate water as well. So it's very difficult to do recharge basins in that in this area. There are a few local areas where you can opportunistically find some sand that you're able to percolate, but uh, for the most part, it's heavier soils that don't work very well. So, you know, you've got a challenge here. You've, you've shifted the cropping pattern to, from a relying on surface water to groundwater, so you're overdrafting the groundwater in that particular location. The other aspect is when you've shifted from agriculture to urban, up until about five, five, six years ago, the city of Fresno, as well as all these valley communities, were 100% reliant on groundwater. Uh, every drop of water used for landscape, for drinking, for bathing, it's all been used uh, from groundwater. And in very few of those areas actually had replenishment programs. Uh, in the last several years, there's been a change within the city of Fresno and Clovis have both built surface water treatment plants that Randy mentioned. And they've used those to service the areas typically where they don't have soils where they can have any groundwater recharge. Uh, so it's been a, really an in-lieu program. They're, they're delivering surface water through the treatment plants and then uh, uh, shutting off wells in those particular areas. There have been some water quality issues within the cities from dry cleaner plumes, uh, metal plating plants, there's a whole host of issues. And some of the surrounding areas of the city and then some of the small communities, they're having nitrate and DBCP problems. Though they've, uh, under a number of lawsuits that were settled with the chemical companies, they've been able to, they're, they're working on treating at least the DBCP aspects of it. And uh, through continual use of groundwater, I think they're starting to see some decreases in the levels of DBCP in the water. Um, 